Okay guys, uh, Blitz here. So, uh, a lot of people kept bringing up Nyx Assassin as an example in my Reddit thread. Uh, for some reason, and I'm on a roll, so I'm just going to keep pumping out content while I can and addressing things that I find relevant. Um, so the first thing that I want to address and get out of the way is uh, people keep saying that low-level players might not understand what I'm trying to get across. But uh, this content is not for you then. There's plenty of content out there that gears towards that. If I have to talk about the difference between Enigma and Nyx Assassin, then uh, this content probably isn't for you in general. Then you've got bigger issues. But uh, what I want to talk about is just high-level concepts, and that's about it. Uh, if you want to know the difference between an Enigma and a Nyx, there's... I'm sure there are plenty of videos out there that will tell you that, but uh, I just want to talk about map movement and how to push things out. So in my previous video, uh, I played Enigma offlane on the Radiant side. Uh, this one I'm actually going to go over a pro replay to show you guys a Nyx Assassin and to show you some of the similarities and the things that we were talking about. Uh, everyone keeps saying, for some reason, that if you're playing a hero like Nyx, you should never show on the map ever. That it's a horrible thing to do, that um, that's just not how you play Nyx. So I decided to load up a random replay, the first one that I found uh, in MDL. This was Vici. Uh, Yang is playing this Nyx Assassin. So he technically is safe laning this game, but it's the same thing. Uh, and if you're going to tell me it's not the same thing, then we're arguing semantics. And again, we're getting bogged down in details that I don't really care about. Uh, so in this game, Yang, he's going to hit a relatively fast level 6. Uh, he's going to push out this wave. I haven't actually seen this replay, because uh, that's just going to be my style. Everyone keeps saying I should edit better or whatever, but I'm not going to do that. So okay, so this is the first move. When you hit 6 on Nyx, yes, you will make a play. That is the difference between Enigma and Nyx. And that is one of the primary ones, is that I can't even believe I'm saying this or explaining this concept to you, but if you have Vendetta up, you should use it. So he's going to go top, uh, use Vendetta, get a kill, easy right? Uh, let's watch what he continues to do. So he's gonna go on this guy. They're gonna attempt to kill. Okay, they they weren't successful. And let's watch what he does, guys. Does he hide on the map? No, he continues to farm. Uh, this is crazy. Let's watch what else he continues to do. Oh, he shows on the map again. And he will definitely just keep pushing this wave every single time. He's even gonna use his stun and all of his mana. And then... And only then should he be using his ulti. But wait, there's more. He is going to go up top, and what do you know? He's going to push the wave in again. Because, and this is something that people really need to understand, you can't make plays if the wave isn't pushed in. That is why in my Enigma video, I stress that so much. And people keep saying, these concepts don't apply based on... No, it doesn't matter, because at the end of the day... You're going to want to push out the waves in. What people should understand, and a lot of high player level players pretty much instinctually know this, and I guess this is geared towards uh, some of the lower level players, is that if you shove in the wave, what ends up happening is that there's just a ton of there's just a ton of farm that's coming in. Somebody has to deal with that. It's just it's just how it has to happen. Otherwise, you know you can isolate on the map where somebody is. If I shove in your top lane, you don't deal with it. I can already eliminate this area of the map. I know you're not there. Because if you were there, you'd be up there, and you'd be pushing the way back out. It's a lot of potential farm that you're missing, because of how little the jungle gives you nowadays. And as a result, Yang is going to push in that top wave at all times, which I imagine he will do. Pop his ulti once in a while. Uh, scout for opportunities, which he does. It looks like they're going to kill this courier, and he's going to get revealed. FY is so dead, but he's a beast. so uh, He's going to grab some bounty runes, and... Uh, he pops his vendetta, and he goes all the way top, and he shows out the wave again. Uh, and I imagine he would spike carapace or um, impale this. Yep. And look, uh, and look at the response. Two heroes come up here, so now he's just given his team some information. Uh, so I remember I mentioned in one of the videos that. The thing about Radiance is that your jungle is always going to go and get invaded. 
And so it's important that you push out this top lane so that you force heroes away from this jungle area to give your team more space to farm around the map. And it also protects this bottom safe lane tower. In Dota nowadays, towers are so important. You, If you lose your mid tower or uh, any of these towers errantly for absolutely nothing, then you're just going to be set back so much. I played a game uh, earlier tonight where my safe lane tower in both games got taken down at like six minutes. And because I was playing Void in both games, I wasn't really able to wave clear. I don't have uh, an Impale or a Midnight Pulse or Eidolons or anything like that. So I've just got to, you know, slowly whack creeps. And I can't shove this top wave uh, very safely fast enough. And so it puts you in kind of an awkward position. But I don't want to generalize. But at the same time, we should be able to use our brains, right? And understand that there are going to be some distinguishing differences between heroes. But the overall concept is going to be the same. In that you want to shove in this lane. And Yang doesn't make the mistake of just going to one of these neutral camps like I did. He just keeps going to this top wave and pushing it in. And occasionally he's going to use his vendetta to scout out opportunities. But by forcing a bunch of people here and by farming this neutral camp, he's in a much better position. And that's the distinction I want to show between a pro player and somebody like me who is actively going to be thinking about these things. See, even with his ulti up, he's pushing in this wave because he wants to force people up. I'm surprised that they committed to this tower, but... Oh, that was a wave. Like, I'm really surprised that they committed to this tower. Like, this felt like a pretty dangerous fight, but uh, I guess Vici were just up so much that they didn't really give a shit. But anyways, yeah, it was just a really short, sweet video uh, to kind of show you that the concept still holds. Now that everyone just kept bringing up Nyx Assassin, so I just picked, I just found a Nyx Assassin Pro replay that was literally today. So, okay, I don't know what my next uh, video will be based on. I don't, ideas don't really hit me very easily, so if you have any good ones, like really good ideas, please, now is the time. I will, I will try to answer all your questions as they come. I will make very reactionary videos based on Reddit threads that annoy me. So that's the best way to get me to create content.